lens. So in the lens, the lens is the ascendant. So suppose there's a planet in the ascendant. Suppose Venus is there. So that means Venus is the king now. Why king? Because he's sitting in the first house. Now Venus is telling all of you will behave like I want you to behave. And what Venus wants? <laughs> Venus wants that everything should be soft and calm and pleasurable. The feel-good factor should be there in Venus. The easiest way to ruin Venus is to stay with people who you don't like. It will ruin your Venus completely. Their husband or friend or brother, mother, father, doesn't matter. Just stay with somebody who you don't like. That's it. End of the story. Use things which you don't like. Do things which you don't like. Your Venus will be ruined. You don't like to use this mobile. Keep using. <laughs> and then you keep doing remedies for Venus. Let me see how many remedies work. You are doing a job which you absolutely hate. And then you are going on fasting on Fridays. <laughs> it doesn't work like this. <laughs> so now... Venus is telling, whatever you do, I don't care. You have to do it like me. So this person will, will always search for comfort and pleasure in everything. Irrespective of the planet which is there in the 10th house. This person will always be like, okay, where can I have some fun in my career, you know? <laughs> Why that's happening? <laughs> Venus is not aspecting the 10th house, for God's sake. Venus doesn't aspect the 10th house. It only aspects the 7th. But why is it happening? Because the ascendant is like the intelligence. The intelligence is telling whatever happens. As I said, na, you are here. The 11 houses are here. Whatever it is there, he feels as if everything is like Venus. Career is like Venus. Relationships are like Venus. <laughs> Family is like Venus. Everything is like Venus. That is why Jupiter gets directional strength in the first house. Why, why, why in the universe? Now, now that's the interesting thing. You see, Jupiter does not get exalted in Aries. <laughs> It gets directional yeah, it gets strength directional in the strength first in house. house. For Saturn, uh, it's same. Seventh house is Libra and the directional strength is also the seventh house. For Mars, again, Capricorn and tenth house. True. But for Jupiter, he gets directional strength in the Lagna. Mm -hmm. And not in Aries. Aries is where the king sits. So Jupiter is telling you, don't try to be like the king. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't want to be the king here. Mm -hmm. The body and your conception of existence, the body is Mars and conception of your existence. Sun is basically what? The conception that I am somebody, that is Sun. The word I, me, mine, that is Sun. Mm -hmm. Sun is basically, sun, sun tells you, okay, I exist. Actually, what sun is, it's very important to understand what sun is. Because without sun, you cannot understand what Jupiter is. Sure. Sun is actually that identity. Jupiter is the pure Atma, you know. Mm -hmm. But sun is that identity which tells you that you can be separate from God. You don't need God, basically. Mm -hmm. You can be here without God. Because when we because everybody has a sun in the horoscope, sun in first house, second house, third house. Yeah. Everybody has a sun. Have you seen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so that means in this material world, what people are doing is everybody is trying to be like as if like I am the sun. You know, everybody is seeing me, 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 me. <laughs> that is why Saturn is the enemy for the sun. Because what Saturn is? Saturn tells you that there's only one king, that is God. 
And that is why when you surrender to God, then Saturn doesn't trouble you. He doesn't torment you. But when you behave like the sun, which means, no, 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 no. I am separate from God. I will have my own identity. I will have my own individual existence. Then Saturn hits you. <laughs> yes. True. That is why you will see whenever sun and Saturn are conjunct in transit or in your horoscope or there, sun is aspect, Saturn is aspecting sun. The ego of the person gets person gets crashed. Why? What is ego basically? Ego is your definition that I am somebody, right? <laughs> and that affects every house. That is one thing which affects every house. Why? People say, oh, I had a breakup. You know, it was, it was so horrible. But if you go one step further during a breakup, what actually happens? <laughs> You will say, oh my, I was shattered emotionally. You will say, right? Mm -hmm. And the ego is so strong, it actually believes that statement. But what actually happens during a breakup? Breakup is what? It's Saturn basically, right? Tears. <laughs> <laughs> and Saturn's most dreaded enemy is the sun. True. So what actually happens during a breakup? Sun gets shattered. Mm, makes sense, yeah. Because you will always see people making such statements. He is my husband. <laughs> she is my wife. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen? So my, I, me, my. Yeah, yeah, if you if you go to Rama and this is very interesting. No? Once what happened? Uh, Surtnaka had gone to Ravan and she said, "Oh, great Ravana, look what this Lakshman has done to, not to me, to your sister." Oh, <laughs> I don't exist. <laughs> I have no existence. My only existence is I'm your sister. Because she was very expert. <laughs> she knew how to put the key, you know. As in Hindi, they say, na, chabi ghumana aata hai usse. <laughs> So she said, what a disgrace it is to your sister, you see. <laughs> if she would have said, oh, she, he has done this to me, then maybe Ravan was like, I leave it. Maybe he has done, forget it. But when Ravan heard this word, your sister, <laughs> Ravan was like, yeah, man, my sister, my means me. <laughs> Whenever you hear the word your, we hear it as I. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is my pen means this is like me only. <laughs> True. So when there is a breakup, what happens? Your conception that that person will only do what you want is not getting fulfilled anymore. Basically, what that person is doing, that person is denying your existence, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, during a breakup, it's not a Venusian problem, actually. It is not a moon problem. It is a problem of the sun and that is why it hits you the hardest. Why do people commit suicides? Because of emotional problems that they can find with somebody else also. Mm -hmm. But when you are in a relationship, what happens? You get that special care and attention. Again, special. Special means only you, nobody else. Mm. He will only give you a red rose, you a chocolate. He will not give it to other girls, hopefully. <laughs> so he is treating you like the sun, which means you are an independent universe. You shine the most. For him, he says, my life is like, for, my life is for you. It means what? He's saying, I will, I will be like your servant. Or my world rotates around you. Now, uh, which is the planet around which all other planets rotate? Sun. Ah. <laughs> makes sense very yeah now now it's make, it makes sense that is why breakups are so 
terrible. Oh my God, we were supposed to talk on the ascendant. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to understand, you know, why sun is, why, wh- wh- what actually sun is. Sun is basically that part of us which says that I don't need God. I have my separate kingdom. <laughs> Everybody is a king in some way or the other. In my world, uh, I am the king for this mobile. Whatever I decide will happen. I want to keep it, I keep it. I want to throw it, I will throw it. But the control is limited. I cannot control my neighbor's mobile, you know. (laughs) She will not let me do it because then she will say that, hey, this is my kingdom. (laughs) You stay in your kingdom. So that's what the sun is. Sun is basically your tendency to be like a king. Now, whenever we hear the word king, we think, oh, you have to be in a palace and there has to be 10,000 servants. No. (laughs) Everybody is a king, tiny king, you know, in their own space. At least non-living objects listen to you. (laughs) Or if you have a family, then you're the king of the family. Yes. So that that is what is sun basically. Our independent existence. And when there is a breakup or a divorce, that gets shattered completely. Because these things happen. Oh, he's not replying to me from three months. She has blocked to me. This happened, that happened. Basically, that person is saying, you don't exist for me. I don't revolve around you. You are not the sun. Mm. that pains very much so breakup is basically a pain of the ego at a higher level and that is why it's so painful because that is the very basis of our existence in this material realm Mm. without that what is your existence (laughs) nothing nothing that's true yeah that's the beauty you see that that's what sun is basically and of course then jupiter is always the jupiter says at a soul level how much you are aware okay i have my individual existence and in this world it manifests how see three gunas are there one is sattva gun one is rajogun one is tamogun sattva gun is mode of goodness rajogun is mode of passion and tamogun is mode of ignorance these three planets keep dancing in this which is the sattvic planet, purely sattvic among these three, it is Jupiter, right? Jupiter represents the soul. Sattva means it does not get contaminated. Mm -hmm. Jupiter represents that soul which never gets contaminated. That's why it is sattvic. And sun is rajas and sattva mixed. Why rajas and sattva mixed? Rajas means it is having an independent identity because Rajas is enjoyment. When you want to enjoy something, what what your mind tells? I want to enjoy. That I word is there. Who wants to enjoy you? (laughs) Mm -hmm. So Rajas is that which says I am separate. I have my own existence. Whenever you say we should be happy or we want to enjoy, it is not Rajas. It is Sattva Guru. Mm-hmm. But whenever you say, I want to enjoy, then it is Rajas. Now, sun is a mixture of Sattva and Rajas, which means it has a Rajas. Without that, it will not be here. Mm-hmm. But the Sattva is there so that it, that means it has a potential to behave like Jupiter, which means it has to be, it has the potential to be aware in its ultimate reality of God. And then Tamas is there. Tamas is what? Mars. Mars is this body. Yeah. Hands, legs. <laughs> so that that's that's what the ascendant is. Ascendant is one one that which is completely spiritual. Then we have our independent existence. And then we have this body. So that is why we must study these three planets whenever we are talking of the ascendant. The aware, yeah. 